Hello everyone, this is Sujata from Informatica. In this video, we will be covering the steps to identify the job logs for, uh, uh, for a job that is run by a DIS on a grid. As part of this video, we will be going through the steps to fetch the logs for the DQ jobs like a mapping, a workflow, when the DIS is running on a grid setup. I'll be showing you different options that we have to fetch the logs from all available IDQ clients. And uh, especially when the DIS is running on a grid, it is important to know the node on which the job has been dispatched um, to, uh, to get the logs if we want to uh, log into that particular node and download it. These are the three available options that we have. Uh, to download the logs. The first is the developer tool, monitoring tab and Informatica server machine. So once the job completes, we see an icon in the progress tab in the developer tool and that can be used to download the log from. Let me show you that by logging into the developer client. So this is my developer client and I have just run one of my mapping. As in the progress tab, you can see I have a link uh, stating that the mapping is successful. Now if I click on this link, um, I get an option to go to the log and view it. So this is uh, the first option that we have. The second option would be to log into the Informatica monitoring tab and then uh, download the log. So this can be used uh, for a running or a completed job. So the monitoring MRS has to be configured for this and uh, post that uh, if a user wants to view the log, he has to go to Info Informatica admin console monitoring tab, select the DIS uh, which is used to run the job and uh, get the log uh, for the job. Let me show you that uh, by logging again to the monitoring tab. Uh, so this is my Informatica monitor tab. I go to uh, monitor tab and then I expand my domain. I see all the DIS that I have in the domain. Now I go to the DIS which has actually executed my job. If I have run a mapping, I have to go to the ad hoc job. So this is one of the mapping that I have just run. And I select this mapping, uh, uh, mapping object and then I go to view logs for selected object and I uh, click that. So that opens up the mapping log for me. Now if at all I have, I, I want to view the log for a workflow and the corresponding mapping task, I have to go to the deployed application, application for that workflow and then the workflow section. So I select the workflow here and I get the mapping log similarly. Again for the mapping task, I have to expand the workflow, select whichever mapping task I want to check the logs for and then again uh, uh, fetch the logs by selecting that icon. The third option is if a user wants to uh, fetch the logs from the server machine directly like logging into uh, the in one of the Informatica node where the DIS is running and then download the log. So for that it is the, the, the steps would be first of all we have to identify the node on which the job has been dispatched. Uh, since the DIS is running on a grid, the job can be dispatched to any node and uh, so it is important to first identify the node on which the job has been dispatched. So this can be, this information can be fetched from the DIS log. So this is one sample entry um, uh, which shows that uh, the job name map DIS grid has been dispatched to an INDTHSBD002 node. So following this, the user has to go uh, log into this particular node and download the mapping log from the log directory or whatever it is configured for the DIS. So, ag so again to check the log directory for the DIS, he has to go to the admin console DIS, process tab, logging options and check the logging directory what is configured. So for the mapping log, um, the default location is service logs directory DIS logs MS folder. For the workflow, it is service logs directory DIS logs workflow. And these are the default values for the service logs directory. 
for 9x and 10x uh, respectively. Now coming up to the steps as to how to fetch the log. So once I have identified the log directory for the DIS and I know the node on which the job has been dispatched, I will log in to that node and uh, go to my logs directory location and download the log. So uh, let's take an example where I have a workflow with uh, three mapping tasks and uh, I, I have run the uh, workflow uh, with the DIS running on a grid. Now um, the scenario is I want to identify, I want to fetch the logs for the workflow as well as mapping task by logging into the node. So uh, as the first step, I because I want to download the workflow log, I have to go to the DIS log and then uh, search for uh, uh, the log entry uh, to see where the uh, workflow has been dispatched. So this is the entry sample entry from the DIS log where I see the workflow underscore grid has been dispatched to node 1. Let me show you that from my uh, log ones. So this is the sample entry from the DIS log which shows that the workflow has been uh, dispatched to node 1. I then go to node 1 and uh, the workflow folder. And I get to see the, uh, the workflow log for the same. Similarly, I can search for uh, uh, the mapping uh, task as well. I go to the DIS log and I search for uh, uh, search with the mapping uh, name and I see that uh, uh, the three mapping tasks that uh, that were there in my workflow has been dispatched to node 2, 1 and then node 2 again. So I go to node 1 mapping task folder and I see the uh, one of the mapping task log over here. Now similarly I can go to node 2 and uh, this is already node 2 and I'm at the mapping task location. So I list here and I see the job log for the two mapping uh, task here. So this covers the same thing which I just showed you from the DIS log and the snapshot, snapshot from the server machine. How, how do we see the logs for the workflow and the mapping? So you can always refer the application guide, the logs uh, directory section to know more about the logging options uh, for the DIS. And this KB article is a reference to a scenario where a user was unable to fetch the logs when the DIS was running on a grid. You can refer this if you have any issue. Thank you for listening us. Um, we, we will be grateful for any feedback. Thank you.